Have you noticed a flat spot on the side or back of your baby's head? When your baby is only a few weeks old and you begin to notice that your baby has a flat spot on the side or back of the head, it might make you nervous. There are a few questions you should ask yourself. Is it getting progressively worse? Have you consulted your pediatrician? What your baby has is a condition known as positional plagiocephaly. Plagio what? Positional plagiocephaly is a condition where specific areas of an infant's head develop into an abnormally flattened shape and appearance. The flat area may be mild to severe and it may occur on either side or on the back of the head. Why is this happening and what can we do to correct it? An infant's head is pliable and soft at birth. Rarely, infants may develop positional plagiocephaly in the womb. This is more common with multiples, but can also occur from the position inside the uterus with single births as well. When an infant is born with positional plagiocephaly, it is important to rule out a more serious condition known as craniosynostosis. It is also important to start repositioning as soon as possible. Repositioning is your best option when positional plagiocephaly is noticed in the first few months of life. Once the baby is a few months old, repositioning is less effective and harder to accomplish. Positional plagiocephaly can also be caused by a condition known as torticollis. Its symptoms can be seen right after the birth or take up to three months to develop. In this scenario, a baby might tilt the head in one direction or prefer looking to only one side. It is important that torticollis is treated either by repositioning and stretching techniques or by physical therapy when needed. By the time your baby is three months old, perhaps positional plagiocephaly was just noticed or you've tried repositioning and it didn't work. Your baby's head just looks flatter and more asymmetric than before. Where do you go from here? Because treatment is most effective when started between three and six months of age, it is important that you take action. You should immediately bring your concerns up with the pediatrician. Many pediatricians are becoming increasingly aware of positional plagiocephaly, but some may still be hesitant to send a child out for treatment. Some will still tell you not to worry and that your baby's head will round out eventually. While this might be true, there are no guarantees. Therefore, it is important that you gather and research all of the information that is needed and understand the available treatment options so that you, the parent, can make a decision on how you'd like to proceed. Although positional plagiocephaly is considered mostly a benign condition, some studies have indicated that untreated positional plagiocephaly may cause jaw and mandible problems, scoliosis, eye and ear concerns. It may even contribute to developmental or behavioral challenges. More studies are needed. Remember that a child's appearance can have a profound impact on their personality, willingness to socialize, and even their desire to go to school. Talk to your pediatrician. Tell them that you will be requesting a referral and a prescription to see an orthodist after you decided where to go. What does an orthodist do? An orthotist makes and fits braces and splints for people with spine, limb injuries, or other deformities. Some orthotists are also specialists in fitting cranial remolding orthosis or helmets. It is important that your baby is seen by an orthotist that specializes in this treatment. Orthotists will often give you a free consultation and opinion.